Yin Yin Liu from the Oxford Internet Institute gave us some insights into the future of publishing. There's a shift away from traditional print publishing into online uh, publishing, which obviously um, can be uh, spread and shared across a wider variety of platforms, right? So dissemination of research is increasing, which is a very good thing. I think along with that, um, there is an increasing need for metrics of success that are based upon an article in a journal as opposed to journal level. This is the exciting thing. So we have now metrics um, about how often uh, an article, for example, was shared on social media, mentioned in public policy reports, uh, in the news, um, uh, cited across various platforms online. And I think these metrics, they're already being correlated by you know, alt metrics, for example, as one source. But I think increasingly we're seeing uh, a demand for looking at uh, article level metrics alongside journal level metrics uh, in publishing, which is great because when you're assessing the impact of uh, communication about your research, it is important to look at the article level, right? And so there's more of a richness uh, of impact here. And I think it's quite promising in that regard. Um, I mean, I think discovery of articles uh, on mobile is increasing uh, as opposed to traditional platforms uh, like your desktop or your laptop. So that's one thing. And so the look is going to have to be streamlined towards those, those platforms. So of course, even things like font size, font type actually uh, will need to um, be shifted slightly to allow for faster reading uh, on mobile. Um, I mean, even, I mean, just small details like having night mode, for example, and reading with a black background, right, versus a white background. These small details will help. But I think increasingly, um, content is being consumed on the go, and it needs to be delivered in, in ways that will allow people to, you know, read something as they're traveling to work, for example. Um, and so that, that's also good because being up to date on research is getting easier and easier. Right? Um, and it used to be, I think, that you had to walk into a library to look at the rows and rows of uh, print journals. Um, now it's, you know, you don't even have to be uh, at your university. You could be on holiday somewhere, get a notification about something that's relevant to you uh, using various platforms that are available on the phone. Academic journals are only one way of publishing uh, the results of your research, oftentimes um, to reach kind of a full uh, full impact, uh, a diverse and broad audience, you need to kind of package up the results in other formats as well. And so um, I have seen videos done, uh, podcasts I think are another one, so there are um, podcast series in which researchers are interviewed uh, about their research and that's a nice way to um, gain broader dissemination. Um, blog posts as well, social media in general I would say, uh, Twitter I think is quite an important medium for academic uh, communication, sharing the results. Um, I mean I myself have found out about most, a lot of papers relevant to me through just Twitter alone because you can follow um, publishers, you can follow authors, right? So um, it's becoming, it's getting to the point where if you don't package up the results across those other uh, media formats, you are seriously losing out. And, and also, eventually, when um, the assessment of impact does formally encompass uh, shares on social media, for example, uh, or across the internet, you will also lose out in terms of professional growth and opportunities for funding.